in Spain. Action's going to be on Steve Sung from Torrance, California, originally out of Korea. Very tough 22-year-old. He looks down at the suited connectors, the 7-6 of spade. You'd like to see flops with that hand, but Steve, under the gun, first act, opts to throw his hand away. And now it's on Gus again, and this time he has a queen seven of hearts. And folks, this is why he's Gus Hansen. Most people will just fling this hand to the muck, but not the mighty Gus. He's reaching for chips. He's going to raise it with a queen seven here, 63,000. Okay, back on the Frenchman, and this time he's picked up ace ten of hearts. Got the button, good position. He knows Gus is liable to play anything, which he is. And he's going to make the call this time. Yeah, he's going to mix up his play, not going to raise with it. And now Marcus Lehman. Well, he's got a pair of threes here. Well, he's got one of those hands that you like to see a flop with also. And it's the kind of hand that's easy to play. You either flop a set or you get out. Well, he's worked very hard at getting his chip stack up there. At 10,000 out there, going to cost him 53,000 more to make the call. He could also come over the top, but he opts to lay his hand down. Doesn't get involved with the two threes. Krister throws away an 8-3 out of the big blind. So here we go. We're going to have a flop between Gus Hansen and Ludovic Luquet. The flop comes up jack for deuce. No help to either player. Well, Gus just has the queen seven. The question is, will he make the continuation bet? Let's see what he's going to do. Well, Gus is going to bet. He's bet 84,000 at this pot with absolutely nothing. Yeah, just his queen high. Will that be enough? Sticking the chips out there into the Frenchman. Now, what's he going to do? Well, most guys were just muck in this situation. They haven't got that much invested. They have absolutely no hand, no draw. I mean, even Gus Hansen can have a hand once in a while. And Gus trying to stay very stoic here. Not blinking, not breathing. Just doesn't want to hear call or raise at this point. You know, Ludovic reaching for chips here. Mm. Look at this, Vince. Uh -oh. And a lot of chips. <laughs> Meaning it looks like he's going to come over the top of Gus. But yeah. Oh, Gus is in poker hell right now. He would love to hear fold. No worries. But he's not. The Frenchman's going over the top. He's going to make a raise. Going to make it 225,000 to go. Well, this is an unbelievable play by the young Frenchman. And look at that. It's just pain there for Gus Hansen. You've got to take your hat off to this young Frenchman. He is not afraid to come over the top of Gus Hansen. Oh, yeah. And look at Gus looking pained like he's been listening to too many Yoko Ono albums. No way he can call a raise here with his hand. Now, yes, Gus could come back over the top for all his money and perhaps win the pot right here, but could he possibly make that play? Gus does lay his hand down. Well, Vince, there's a hand that you got to chalk up to the Frenchman's instincts. He just thought Gus took too long, was making some kind of move, opted to come over the top to try to take the pot down. Terrific poker instincts and a great poker move by the young Frenchman there. A lot of great players out here on the tour. And we're seeing one right now from Caradon, France. Ludovic Luquet. Vance, amazing that this young Frenchman is playing Gus Hansen like a fiddle here right now. Oh, the king of chunk taking his licks right now. Can he come back? We will see who's going to be king of the castle here. Coming back for more on the WPT. Welcome back to the WPT Spanish Championship. We are at the Casino Paralada on the coast of Brava. 